Hi, I'm Mike Lesseter, editor and publisher of Farm Equipment. I'm pinch hitting today for Dave Knicky, who is on his way back from his 41st high school reunion in Bay City, Michigan. He'll be joining you again next time. For this month's uh, e-watch, there are a number of things I could share here, including a story of a deer dealer I recently visited who lost a four combine deal to a forever green equipment only farmer because deer wouldn't come to the table with the same type of financing as Case IH. I'll get to that in a sizable market share loss that the farmer said was not at all the dealer's fault another time. What I want to do here instead is share a few words about a trip out to Washington and Idaho with my dad Frank who founded our publishing company in 1981. A few years ago with the full support of mom I agreed not to buy any more singing bass type gifts for his birthday committing instead to sharing an annual trip together which we've now done for a few years. So two weeks ago to celebrate his 71st birthday we scratched one more item off his bucket list a week of combining in the Palouse during wheat harvest. The Palouse, which is out in Washington, Idaho, and Oregon, is a picturesque and important small grains producing region of the U.S., achieving great results even on slopes that go as high as 40 to 60 percent. Our six-day trip, which was highlighted by 12 hours each of combine time, included visits to four farmers, representing 28,000 acres, two farm equipment dealers, two manufacturers, and a conservation district manager who oversees innovative programs for equipment loans and farmer-to-farmer -farmer mentoring. The passion for farming that we witnessed firsthand and the innovative spirit to advance things further certainly charged up our batteries about the ag industry and our role in it. And as eye-opening and educational as our travels were for me personally, the best part was the time spent with the old man on a trip neither of us will forget. Things like the jokes, the family farm stories, and even his excitement of positioning four working combines through his camera lens from the heights of Steptoe Butte. If you're lucky enough to still have your dad with you, make plans to knock off an item or two off your collective to-do list, even if just a ball game, a fishing pole in the water, or an afternoon back to your family's first farmstead. You'll both be glad you did. Next Monday, six of us are heading to Farm Progress to report on the newest equipment unveilings for 2011. We'll be back with you soon to share what we saw and heard in Iowa. Have a great week.